Hi guys and welcome to our first installment of Rugby Nation 16 How To Guide. Today we'll be going through things like passing, conversions, tackling and more um, to hopefully give you a better insight into how to play the game. And we'll start by playing a friendly game and we'll go for two rivals, New Zealand and Australia. Um, this screen it shows you how you can set, change the time of the match, the difficulty setting and the time of day. Um, today we'll just go through a three minute amateur game at daytime. Hopefully that's got me fired up for the game, so let's see how we get on. Okay, so now I've got the ball. You play a marker. You can see two, or one or two green arrows underneath my play marker. These represent that you can pass to one of your fellow teammates. One green arrow means you've got a pass close by. Two green arrows, if you hold down the pass button, it will make a longer pass. Swiping left and right when you've got the ball will dodge. Hopefully, get you over the try line. Quite impressive. Okay, I've got a... a Moles form now, so what you have to do is keep swiping rapidly at the screen to put pressure on the opposition. Oh, man, I keep the ball instead of passing. Nice, it's a drop out to the uh, Australians if I keep the ball out of play. Okay, so here we go again. We can show you the passing markers underneath the players. Um, so grey means you can't pass that direction, green means you can pass. You simply tap on the left or right side of the screen to pass the ball in that direction. Again, got Rook now, so you have to keep swiping up as hard as you can to try and win that to avoid the opposition getting a turnover. And again, another Maul, you keep swiping up as hard as you can, pressing into that Maul, pushing as hard as you can. When you start moving backwards, then pass the ball on, otherwise the ref will blow for the foul. Again, the rook yeah, pushing up. The Australians have won the ball back and kicked it out for a line out. And it's half time. Okay, so it's my turn to kick off now, and you simply swipe up the screen um, nice and fast and hard for a longer kick. You can aim it left and right. So now they've got the ball, so you hold the screen down, you can see when the player nearest the opposition with the ball will run towards him. You have to try and swipe to tackle. Okay, line out. So here you have to decide on which one of your group of players you want to throw to, whether to far, middle or front. I'm going to go for middle. And the bar here, you have to swipe up the screen and make it land where the dotted line is for a perfect throw. Could be close enough. Yeah, there we go. And then take notice of your green arrows to pass along the line. Hope you've got a guy out wide. Hopefully get over for a try. Skip that. Now come to the conversion. Um, first thing you have to notice is your wind direction. With this being an amateur, there is no wind, so it should be safe just to swipe fast and hard through the ball through to the centre of the goals. Hopefully, it will go over for a conversion. Okay, so the ball's come back to me and we try another drive at the field. See how far we can get it. Nice thing to do is try and swipe left and right as you're turning to get a bit of a dodge on. Over for another try. Same again with the conversion, there's no wind. 
wide, fast, hard, through the centre of the ball, through to the centre of the goals. Two points. Now let's see if we can use some of the uh, extra features in the game once we get tackled. Another mole, so again just keep swiping, swiping, swiping. Put pressure on. And again tilt, to steer left and right. Get out to the wing. Cut in and swipe. Oh, throw the ball away. Here we go. So now we can do try a little uh, box kick. So you click the box kick button, swipe up the screen. Hopefully your winger will chase after it. However, it's caused them to have a drop out, so the ball will come back to me. Young Tio. He just shrugged the tackler off with ease. Okay, here we go. I'll try another box kick and see if my wing will chase it this time. A little short kick. See if we can run underneath it and catch it, contest it. No, they've uh, oh, yep, turned the ball over. And I'm watching those green markers again. So you make sure that our players have got players to pass to. Swiping up on the rook. And we're going to see indicating how to drop goal now. So you can hit the drop goal button. Pass to the player who's in position and then swipe up. Clearly didn't work. Passing down the line. The ball's been turned over. Yeah, they're going to try a final push, even though time's up. So we're going to get the ball out of play to end the game. Let's try another drop goal. There we go. Guy here has run back into position. And I've waited too long, and now the penalty is rushed over. The scrum, so you touch the screen and then you swipe up as hard as you can, as fast as you can, to drive that scrum, get closer to the try line. Three attempts, and then you can pass the ball out and go for it, so you can get a final try to end the game. Final conversion of the game, same again, no wind, swipe through. Game over, New Zealand win 21-0. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the how-to guide for Rugby Nation 16, and I'm sure we'll be back with some more hints and tips later in the uh, series.